What up, folks? Bring you another one. Now, I don't know if y'all been up on that case with Centoya Brown. It's that chick that was in the sex slave business, like 16. And some real estate dude, like, bought her to his house to have sex with her. And she killed the dude because she was trying to escape. Now, I don't know how the fuck she got in jail and was facing, what, 50 years or some shit. When, come on, underage and this grown ass man kidnapped me. Well, I was, wasn't kidnapped, but I was in the sex slave business. And this fucking. Grown ass man want to have sex with me at under the age of consent. I'm not even legal, and I'm getting 50 years. I think that's fucked up. It's crazy how the laws are. Now, I know some guys out here don't want to go after women to go get pussy. They rather just pay for it. Now, I'm not the type to encourage bad behavior, and that's bad behavior. That's why I say a lot of shit that happened to some men. I can't feel bad for them because some of us encourage that behavior. The more you fucking encouraging behavior the more it's gonna be getting done and that's why sometimes you're wondering was dating now more um well not dating now is a lot more exposure because now you go on the internet you get a hole across the, the pond and shit like it, women are more plentiful but the quality of women has gone down to shit yeah there are more women you could go after but the quality of women are gone down to shit right now but centoya brown her situation, like, that situation would not exist if simp didn't exist. But we need simps in the ecosystem, though, because simps play their role. But we'll never get rid of simps. But motherfuckers that pay for pussy, pay for pussy is encouraging that behavior. Don't you think if you continue paying for pussy and paying for stupid service like I see on Instagram, what's it called? The shit you could... um pay women for videos i'm like porn is free now why would you even go pay for that shit but i don't know people rather pay some chick to just sit on a dildo all day alone you could watch that shit on any porn website i don't get it but each to his own but behaviors like that why do you think women continue to do that and act the way they act because motherfuckers are paying for that shit now centoya brown situation wouldn't happen if motherfuckers weren't paying for pussy but motherfuckers will always pay for pussy and like I was talking about some of the laws out here are just so fucked up that some case, some, some freaking um shit you get charged with. You're like, how the fuck I get charged with 25 for years for stealing a Snicker bar, but the motherfucker that's murdering someone only gets 10 years. Like, like, like the shit is backwards, man. I I don't get it. A Snickers bar, I'm getting 25 to lie. I know I'm just over exaggerating, but. You just seen how stupid it is, but someone that murders someone only gets 10 years, like, this shit's crazy, like, pedophile cats only gets, like, three or five years or some shit like that, and then they're out to do the same shit again, okay, I register as a sex offender, what's stopping that motherfucker from doing this shit again, nothing, so, I mean, I feel for Centoya Brown, Centoya Brown, I mean, I feel for her, because it's, she was in a fucked up situation, and she had to do what she had to do to get off it, to get out of it, but you're gonna hit me with 50 years? When my life was in danger, because once that dude finishes that, she's probably going to go right back into sex slave. And just like I was saying earlier, you go to Walmart, you see those missing kids on there and all shit. Where do you think them kids at? They're in the sex slave, man. In the sex trade. They all, what was that movie? Damn, what was that movie where motherfuckers went overseas and they start bidding on the chicks? Damn, what's that? Hostel. Remember that movie Hostel? That motherfuckers were um, out there. On them chicks, they're out there betting on them and shit. That's the same shit she probably was going through in America. And this shit happened right here in your backyard, right in America, man. Shit's fucked up out here, man. But shout out to Centoya Brown for getting out. Hopefully, those celebrities that were shouting her out put some bread in her account so she can actually build herself up and build a life for herself. Because it's going to be kind of hard. A lot of shit has gone by for her. So she's going to have to get caught up with a lot of shit. I all know she's going to be popping out here, but... I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I'll blow her back out. But hopefully that bra don't kill me having no fucking flashback, having a nightmare and some shit. But I don't know. That's one thing I never do is let a bra know I got guns. But I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Keep pushing. Peace. And shout out for Centoya Brown for getting out.